Welcome back to IKEA Academy and Tickets Basket. Right now, we are with a new topic. Until the moment, you have seen how we can create a user profile and upload a picture and store this picture in the Azure blob. But as you know, during this course, this is an events um, like or tickets management application. So this means many events will be posted out there and there's going to be a lot of attachments. Let's suppose that this, this, this application will go publicly and uh, simply we're having million of users and then we have a million of events published on this platform daily or monthly. So this means we will have a big number of images and uh, of, of um, blobs in general. So as you can see, here we have in this user's container that we have created, here we have the first user image. And this one basically its size is about 26.6 .6 kilobytes. So, okay, this is fine. The, the, this image is from the this image itself is a small, but maybe like one of the users will take a picture with a 4K camera and this image will about 2 megabytes and with a very huge resolution. So how about storing this and showing this in the client side? Don't you think that this is going to be a problem? Let's see why. I'm going to go for Google Images and I'll search for example for Microsoft. So if you type here, like as you can see, I see the images directly without any loading. So yeah, maybe I have a little fast internet connection, but this doesn't mean this is only because of the internet connection, but basically because are, those are not the real images, those are basically small thumbs. What does this mean? Like if this image is basically 4K and it's, it's like resolution is about uh, 1980 by 1100, for example, but okay, this is the real picture and maybe it's about two megabyte, but for this one, this one is just basically a very small thumb at about 200 pixel by 100 pixel. So this image is about one or two kilobyte. So this means all the images right now in front of you are quotes about maybe one mega or maybe less, or maybe we are still in a very, very few megabytes. So this is totally fine. This will, will, will make the, the website very responsive, opens very quickly, and at the same time it saves like a huge amount of data usage for the users, especially if they are using a mobile phone. Imagine like Google will uh, load those images in their full resolution from the first time and it will suddenly fix you like about 100 page in front of you or 100 uh, image with their full resolution. And let's say that each image is about one up to four megabyte. It's based on its resolutions and the camera that they uh, that it has been shot with. So this means maybe this simple page, it could be about 100 or 200, maybe 500 megabyte. So wow, this is, this is, this is like not realistic. So we have to follow the same approach by storing the thumbs uh, for each image that the user is going to upload into the system. So when you are showing the events, we just so show small thumbs and when the user clicks on any of them, it is going to see the full picture. But uh, upon requested, it's not going to be there by default. So to do this, what we are going to use is basically we'll use a technology or um, like a new technique, it's called Azure Functions. Azure Functions is basically, it is the function itself like hosted on the server, hosted on Azure, let's say, and it provides you as its name, it's just a function. So it takes an input and it gives you an output and that's it. This is one of the, the, the cool concept of of the term like serverless. When you don't care about the server, there is a server, but you don't care about it as a developer. You just write your code, you concentrate on the logic that you want to do, and you put it on the server. You don't worry about the scalability and about all this stuff. So you can just trigger your function based on multiple uh, triggers. We will see uh, one of them right now. And then what's going to happen is basically this function just run, gives you an output and that's it. And you pay for the number of times and the time that this function is running. And that's it. So this concept is very cool and you are going to see many courses about this on my channel this year because I'm going through deeply in this right now. So what we are going to do, I'll move back to my slides. So, okay, this is our application. This is our Azure storage account. And here right now we have, we will create a new container called thumbs and we have already a container called users. That's basically we store all the images that of, of the users or of the accounts. So when a user uploads an image, this image is basically will go and will be stored within the user's uh, container and later on in the events or this stuff. 
So this is our Azure function that will take an input as stream or a stream that represents this image. So basically, whenever this image exists in this container, automatically the Azure function will run and it will take this image as an input. So the existing of this image in this user will trigger this function to run and this function will take this image, create a thumbnail out of this and make it very small, like it will make it, for example, 10% out of its original size and then store it in the thumbs container. So this is the full process that we are going to do and then in the upcoming two videos. So uh, this is just like a quick overview of what we are going to do. And in the next video, we are going to set our development environment for Azure Functions. We will see what, what we need to get started with that. And uh, after that, we will start and like implement our first Azure function. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.